Hi, my name is Jason Wise, MDC Product Manager for Data 911, and I'm here today to introduce the M7 Plus display. The M7 Plus is the next generation of fixed mount, rugged, high bright computer displays designed for the emergency vehicle market. This display has been developed by my team based on feedback from police, fire, and EMS folks in the field. I'm in a 2015 Ford Interceptor utility with a DNR dash mount solution. I point this out because in this configuration, the M7 Plus is 100% dual airbag compatible. Now what that means is if this vehicle is ever in an accident and the airbags deploy, the display will not interfere with their operation, nor will it become a projectile. Okay, with the M7 Plus now front and center, I'd now like to take this opportunity to demonstrate some of the features of the new display, starting with the touchscreen. The new multi-touch touchscreen supports up to five simultaneous touches, including the new Windows 10 operating system. Here I'm running Windows 8 on the M7 PC, and what I'd like to demonstrate is I can easily swipe from off the screen to on the screen in order to bring up the operating system menus. I'd also like to demonstrate that I can use gestures with the new operating system. Gestures include things like swipes, and what you see here is me swiping across the screen to navigate between pictures and the Microsoft photo viewing application. I can also use two fingers to pinch and zoom, which is really nice when using photographs or mapping applications. Uh, this is the same kind of experience that you might have on an iPhone. Another nice feature of the new touchscreen is it now supports a gloved hand. And I have here a traditional latex glove. What I'd like to show you is I can still interface with the touchscreen just the same way that I could with bare skin. Yep, pretty straightforward. I also have a wintertime glove here. This is a pretty heavy duty winter, winter glove. And what I'd like to show you is I can still use this glove to navigate through the buttons on the touch screen. Um, it's, not, it's not any more or less sensitive to the, to the big glove, but maybe what's more difficult is trying to press some small buttons with a very large finger. And for that, uh, we've got a solution of, with, which is a touch stylus. This one happens to be a standard ballpoint pen with just a soft stylus tip on the front. And there's no batteries inside, there's no tether. But what I can show you is I can easily navigate with the pen through the smaller buttons, essentially. Uh, I called it a pen, but a stylus, touch pen, whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, some other great features of the display. Programmable function buttons on the front. There's three of them. And these programmable function buttons can be used to run an application. They can be used to toggle between applications. This button over here I've got configured to toggle between all of the open applications. You can have them map to any of the typical Windows commands to go to the desktop or to uh, mute the sound, anything like that. They can also be mapped to be any of the function keys on the keyboard. And that interface is built into the computer and that's part of our system uh, standard offering. Another feature over here is the multifunction knob. This multifunction knob in the bottom left corner here, it controls the backlight intensity of the display. It also controls the volume level by pressing and turning. You can see the on-screen display here uh, changing the volume level as I turn the knob. The knob is also a button. So when I press the knob, it blacks out the entire display, not only the video image, but all of the LEDs behind the function buttons and the, as, as well as the power button there. Some other great features of the new display are improved audio over the M7 display. These two slots that you see on the front are the speakers, and we've now increased the volume level so that even a fire user can hear the alert tones in a noisy fire apparatus. The new display offers three external USB ports. There's one on the side here and two in the rear. The one on the side would be intended for a user or an IT administrator to load some software. And the two USB ports in the rear would be used by the installer most likely to connect a printer or maybe your USB keyboard. The new display also features what I call a crash pad, which is a dense rubber pad that goes all the way across the top of the display. And although it might be difficult to see, 
the rubber pad comes down about an inch on either side and covers the entire top and the goal was to get rid of any sharp metal corners in case of an, an accident anybody ever hit their head or anything like that we want to be sure that our, our users are safe as safety is number one priority for us here at data 911 I'd also like to point out that the new display comes with a Bluetooth transceiver built in and that is part of the standard display offering and you could use that Bluetooth transceiver to connect to devices such as a cogent fingerprint reader, a wireless fingerprint reader outside of the car or maybe a Bluetooth keyboard inside of the car. The new display is, is up to the same Data 911 standards in regards to its rugged nature so you can always expect that our displays are going to hold up to a, a real fleet environment. Now this is a quick example of another feature we call blank on motion. Here you can see a person using the M7 computer and when they start the vehicle in motion the display blanks automatically keeping the driver from being possibly distracted while operating the vehicle. Of course many of our customers are dealing with life or death situations so we have implemented the option to allow a user to override the motion the monitor blank feature if necessary. If this display is unblanked while the vehicle is in motion, we will log these overrides and we can send that information back to a designated person to be sure that their users are using the equipment in the spirit of the department policy, whatever that may be. This blank on motion feature is enabled by a simple checkbox and is normally configured to be off from the factory. The M7 Plus is programmed through a software interface that was developed in-house by our own engineering staff. This software component is part of the Data 911 system and is used to control the power functions of the computer, to program the display inputs, and to be used as a troubleshooting tool in case of failure. All of our products are supported by our own Data 911 staff located here in the USA. The ability to have our engineering, production, and support groups all working together is what allows Data 911 to offer premier products and a level of support that is intended to surpass customer expectations. Thank you for your time today and please do not hesitate to contact us for further information.